Welcome back. We're at part four of our eight part lecture on decision theory. And we're looking at Hurwitz, otherwise known as the realism criterion. In part one, we looked at interpreting payoff tables. Part two looked at maximax, and part three looked at maximin. Now we are at part four. So the coefficient of realism alpha is a value between zero and one. Values close to one indicate that the decision maker is optimistic about the future and values close to zero indicate that the decision maker is pessimistic about the future we will use alpha equals 0 0.4 for the examples we are covering all right so the formula for our Hurwicz is alpha multiplied by the best outcome plus one minus alpha multiplied by the worst outcome Right, so alpha times the best plus 1 minus alpha times the worst. Since alpha is equal to 0 0.4, then 1 minus alpha will be equal to 1 minus 0 0.4 or 0 0.6. All right, so looking at our payoff table for selecting a country for our new factory. Considering the alternatives or the options, South Korea, Philippines, Mexico, or Jamaica. So for step one, we calculate the realism payoff for each alternative. And it's alpha times the best plus one minus alpha times the worst. So alpha is 0 0.4, one minus alpha is 0 0.6. So for South Korea, the best outcome would be the lowest cost of 17.6. So we're going to have 0 0.4 multiplied by 17.6 plus 0 0.6 multiplied by the worst outcome, which is 19. Right? And that gives us 18.44. For the Philippines, we'll have 0 0.4 multiplied by the lowest cost, which is the best result, 14.9. So 0 0.4 multiplied by 14.9 plus 0 0.6 multiplied by the worst outcome or the highest cost of 19.2 and that gives us 17.48 for Mexico we will have 0 0.4 multiplied by the lowest cost of 13.8 million plus 0 0.6 multiplied by the highest cost of 22.5 million giving us 19.02 million and for Jamaica we will have 0 0.4 multiplied by 12.5 million plus 0 0.6 multiplied by 25 million and that gives us 20 million so we now have a single cost for each location and we're choosing between South Korea at a cost of 18.44 million Philippines at a cost of 17.48 million uh, Mexico at a cost of 19.02 million or Jamaica at a cost of 20 million right based on the cost presented the best alternative here would be Philippines with the lowest cost of 17.48 million so for Hurwicz with alpha equals 0 0.4 the choice will be Philippines All right, looking at another payoff table this one is a profit payoff table All right, and the alternatives we're looking at are to meet the capacity requirements for a company. So four options or four decision alternatives. Build a new plant, subcontract, do overtime, or do nothing. Alright, so for build a new plant, we're going to have 0 0.4 multiplied by the best result, which is 350,000, the highest profit plus 0 0.6 multiplied by the worst outcome, which is negative 300,000. Right, so we'll have 0 0.4 multiplied by 350,000, plus 0 0.6 multiplied by negative 300,000. And that gives us negative 40,000. For subcontract, we'll have 0 0.4 multiplied by 180,000, the highest profit, plus 0 0.6 multiplied by 
negative 20,000, the lowest profit. And that gives us an per week payoff of $60,000. For overtime, we're looking at 0 0.4 multiplied by 110,000 plus 0 0.6 multiplied by negative 10,000. And that gives us $38,000. For do nothing, it's zero across the board. So of course that one will be zero. So we now have a single profit for each occasion. We're looking at building a new plant with an anticipated profit of negative 40,000, representing a loss, or subcontracting with a profit of $60,000 or over time with a profit of $38,000 or do nothing with no profit and no loss. All right? The highest profit there is a 60000 So the choice on the Herwix would be to subcontract, all right? expecting a profit of uh, roughly $60,000. So as usual, practice until perfection is achieved. And we note that perfection is lots of little things done well. Fernand point. Our next lecture will be on Laplace, otherwise called equally likely. Walk good and take care.